Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to discuss all about how to create expanding cards using HTML, CSS and also JavaScript. So let's look at the, the project that we're going to create it. So th this is the default, but when I click on the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth and so on and so forth. So let's look at that how we can create it. So I go to my code editor inside that have a HTML, CSS and also JavaScript and also I will use the images so I have a more than six images so let's get started to write the code so first of all I will use container and inside the container I will use panel class in the panel I will use h3 and write the text explore the world on the panel there I will assign the style background y'all background URL and the particular path inside that have an image so yeah so I'm gonna get it second and third four five six just change the names three four and five six and four one two three four five six I just need only six yeah and we're gonna change the text on um, that is wild forest and that is explore that is explore and that is city on winter and that is mountains cloud last one I'm gonna use explore everything all we think everything yeah so this is our basic and basic code of the HTML so I'm gonna open it in the live server so you are able to see the content and behind the content have images so let's move on the CSS so in a minute, I go to style.css. System number one, you need to use reset the properties border box, and then you need to select the body. And I'm gonna use font family is pop pens, sans serif, display flags, align item center, justify content center, and I'll use our fellow is hidden, right? And then I need to add the height, height 100 VH. So first we're gonna save it and let's look at the, the output of that. Yeah, cool. Uh, flag, yeah. So let's select the container. In the container, I will use the display property flex, and I will use width 90. VW vertical width right so save and let's look at that right and then I need to select the panels and the panel I will use background size cover and background position is center background repeat no repeat no repeat and then I will use height 80 VH vertical height. So first we're gonna save it and let's look at it. Yeah, it's cool. And we're gonna add the cursor pointer, color white, border radius I is 50 pixel, and I'll use margin to make a space all side 10 pixel. And yeah, I'll use the size. First we're gonna save it and let's Look at that. So I will assign the each box size is flex 0 0.5, right? So we're gonna save it and right. Each box size is a 0 0.5, right? So let's move on the next one. In the next one, have a panel H3. So we need to add the position is relative. 
not that but position is absolute and inside that we need to use position is relative because I need to display the content inside the image so in the bottom side I will use 20 pixel on the left we'll move 20 pixel now this margin is 0 first we're gonna save it and let's look at that the content may appear bottom of the image right also I'm gonna use opacity 0 and then I need to select the panel and active class I will assign the active class so I will use display flex not that I use flex and I will increase the size of the flex box so we're gonna assign the class and the first one is active so and look at that right so let's add the h3 in the h3 i will use opacity is one and also i will add the transition as well inside that so i'm going to use hash web kit transition uh, all zero point not that 700 milliseconds as a n and also i will add the transition inside there is transition city 0.3s uh, n and that is duration right so save and right now as you can see so first we're gonna refresh it i will work on the click when i click on the particular button then it will display that right so let's add the, some media query to make it as a responsive so i'm gonna use max with 480 pixel and i'm gonna use container with 100 vw and then i need to select the panel nth child in the nth child have a 4 and i'm going to select the same thing then i'm going to select the 5 means 4 and 5 panels not 4 and 5 i need to select the 5 and 6 panel so i need to display none in the smallest skin side i need to hide two boxes or two images right so where it is that kit transition standard property uh, web kit transition uh, what capability okay just a minute as web kit and transition all that's perfect but why I am able to see that problem right now okay I'm gonna leave it because I need to check it it's working or not so let's move on the JS in the JS you need to get the data so I'm gonna get it console runs panels and I'm gonna use document key selector all and I need to select the panel right so I need to target the particular panel when user will click on the particular panel then I will display the active class and when user will click on the another box then I will remove the first one box inside the image right so what I need to do on there I need to select the panels and use for each loop pass the parameter panels and I'm going to use the panels dot add my listener click event and when the event is executed then come into this one body inside that I need to use panels dot active 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 so we're gonna save it and let's click on that click on that click on that right click on that click on that it's cool but the issue is we need to remove other class so let's select the same thing so i'm going to use function remove actor class and panels that add email listener not there for each loop panel and i'm going to select the panel that add email listener which event click event not the I need to select the panel I just remove the class remove um, which class active 
so we're gonna save it and click on that mm -hmm. that is active okay issues we need to copy the function and paste inside there so save and click on that click on that click on that so yeah it's perfect but i think i will use only transition on there so it should be displayed perfectly on there yeah cool right so when you will click on the any box inside the box I have image and content and when i click on other one i'm able to see the text is up here and also images display is bigger than normal so this video is all about how you can create expanding cars so i hope you are understood as well all about it so thank you very much for watching have a nice day